Hi ho my peeps! I am here with a Daiso haul. Um, I want to show you what I got when I was in San Francisco with Leanne. First of all, here's my my box of Daiso junk. Look at the cute um, bag that I got. Isn't that darling? Daiso Japan. And it has a picture of a kitty. I just love it. Um, I've been collecting these shopping bags <coughs> to, you know, because here, I guess this is, I don't know if this is nationwide, but at least in California, you have to start paying for bags now. So, might as well bring reusables. I mean, I've been bringing reusables for a while, but a lot of them that I got early on were real cheap, and they break. These are really nice. Okay, so in no particular order, I'm just pulling stuff out of the bag. First thing is this uh, box. Oh, incidentally, everything that I bought was $1.50. Um, Daiso is a Japanese dollar store, but everything's actually $1.50. So I thought this was really cool. Um, I sort of collect these decorated boxes, and um, this one is nice and big, and I'm sure I can find something that's um, appropriately sized to be housed in here. Well, that's my first thing. Um, I got these two trays, these two plastic trays. I thought they were just beautiful. I really like the design. And I find I use trays for a lot of things. Like when I've got people over, um, often I'll have just one friend come over. And so I, you know, make a snack and put tea on here and we'd each have our own little tray to take out to the front porch to, to use. So I thought they were really neat. Um, this is a t-shirt that I got for my oldest son. It's a size large. I think it will fit in. Um, but I just loved it. It's sugar skulls, but kind of an unusual style of sugar skulls. More graphic. I thought that was really neat. So hopefully this will fit him well. And he will like it. If not, I know he can pass it on to somebody else. This t-shirt was not $1.50. This t-shirt was $5. So this was the only $5 item that I bought. Um, I got this from the craft aisle. What this is, this is foam. And it's uh, like fiber fill. And it's all been sucked down into this tiny little bag. And um, when you open it, this stuff poofs out. So it's all condensed. And I use a lot of fiber fill. So um, I, I thought this was just kind of neat. And a lot of my fiber fill, um, it's stuff I've pulled out of other things. Like I've tried to recycle it and stuff. And it doesn't always work for everything. Some of it's kind of lumpy. So I thought I would give this a try. Um, okay. I got some socks. Now, um... I tend to wear Birkenstocks a lot, or thongs, sandals, even in the winter time. So I found these socks. They're the little, they're, I think they're called tabby socks, where they have a, a place for your toe and then for the rest of your toe, your big toe and the rest of your toes. You see, um, you see these <laughs> people in Japan wearing these a lot because they wear thong style shoes a lot there. So these happen to be men's socks. These are not women's socks. But I really liked them. I liked the, um, they didn't have any in women's that I could find, but I did find these these men's socks. I really like the, um, the design of these. And then I also got these as well, which I really, really like. These are, these are black with little skulls on them. I thought those were really neat. So I'm going to give those a wash and start wearing those because it's getting kind of cold here and I still do wear my um, I still do wear my Burks all year long um, okay I got these uh, they're five and a half by seven inch um, painters canvases they're a stretched uh, canvas on uh, a, on board um, for oil and acrylic and that kind of stuff there are three of them in this package I have been dying to get back into painting. I used to do a lot of painting, you know, pictures. Um, I painted um, landscapes and um, a portrait of my son that I just love. I'll have to show that to you sometime. But anyway, um, I, I'm i dying to paint again, so I got these little boards. Um, this I didn't buy. Leanne gave this to me. She got a new one of these sticky things for your window when you're vlogging in your car and she had been using this and she wasn't using it anymore so she gave that to me and I will put that to good use. 
Um, I got a um, a spray bottle for making the bath salts that Abigail, not bath salts, the bath um, bombs that Abigail and I were making because you're supposed to spray the oil and water mixture onto the top and mix it as you spray it. You're just supposed to put a little bit at a time or else it starts to fizz. So we found that spray bottle works really well. So I got that for, for that. Um, I bought two different kinds of Christmas ornaments that I just adore. I've been waiting to put these up because I wanted to sh shoot this haul before I put them up. Um, they're tiny little pink hearts. Aren't those neat? I got one, two, three of the tiny ones. And then I found these that are larger. They're the shiny and kind of a matte pink um, Christmas ornaments, little hearts, puffy hearts. I just thought these were wonderful. Um, I'm probably going to use them in my uh, uh, on my Christmas packages that I give to my sister and her daughters. I don't do a lot of Christmas gifts each year. I, I usually give something to my sister, her, her two kids. I usually give something to my brother. And then um, my kids, I usually just give them money and... My mom, I'll do, I usually will do something with her, so I don't wrap a lot of gifts anymore. Um, I got some of these uh, makeup wipes. I just thought, the, I love the color, this pink. I thought it was really pretty. And I like to keep these in the car, and particularly in the summer, when I'm all sweaty and dirty and I've been touching stuff and I, I touch my face and it just feels gross. So I like to keep these in the car and wipe my face and hands down every once in a while. So I like that. I like those. I also got a, I thought this is neat. This is a, I'm going to open it up and show you, a perfume atomizer thing. So You, you, un you take this out of here and you put your perfume or body spray or whatever down in there. And it's a purse atomizer. I thought it was Darling Pink with crystals on it. I just thought that was cute. Um, I like to, I'm kind of like Steph. I like to have um, a body spray with me just because it's so cooling. It's got all that alcohol in it. It feels wonderful. Um, I got... Okay, now, this is a dripper bottle, drip, 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 and the reason I got this drop, dropper, bottle, dropper, I guess, is because when I make eyeshadow, the, I, you mix the eyeshadow base with a preservative, and uh, this much eyeshadow base will equal basically one drop of preservative. And you have to kind of calculate all that out. You do it by the math. Um, how much is like the total weight of the eyeshadow per unit? That'll tell you how much preservative. Almost no preservative goes into into the into this calculation. It's interesting. So what you do is you take your base, you put it in here, then you put your drop or drops of preservative in here. You shake it up, and then you drop this down into your eyeshadows that you're mixing together. That way, that's how you get the right proportion. So anyhow, that's what I'm going to use this for. Of course, after I clean and sanitize it really well. Um, okay, I've got two. Three more things to show you. Um, this is a very slick paper, like raffia sort of thing. And I'm going to give this a try with my um, pine needle crafts. Um, I'm having a really hard time finding uh, a raffia that has been processed with glycerin. Um, I can do it myself. Glycerin is super expensive to buy in a big enough quantity. So whenever I find something that I think might work, I give it a try. So I'm going to give this a try. Um, then I also got this cute little pocket-sized camera tripod. And I'm going to be using this to be taking my product shots of my jewelry and stuff that I'm going to put on my Etsy site. And um, I think this will work really well for that. I do need to get a new phone. I'm on the fence. I'm, I'm 
looking at the iPhone, iPhone 7, which I like, and then also the Samsung Galaxy 7. I like them both, so I'm not sure which I'm going to choose, but I'm leaning towards the Samsung. I really think the Galaxy is a good camera. I mean, it's a phone, but it's really not a phone. It's really a camera. Then the other thing I got, uh, I didn't get this. Leanne got this. It's this weird stuff. It's got this you, you guys have probably seen it. It's got this glass ball in there, and you take the top off, and you punch it, and it causes the glass ball to go down inside here, and then when you take a, a sip, um, this liquid goes over the glass ball, which is, has all this, I don't know, it's probably citric acid or something on it, I don't know. Anyway, it makes this unfuzzy stuff, unfizzy stuff, turn fizzy by the time you drink it. All right, I just thought that was the weirdest thing. I brought this home to show Grant. He's probably seen these too. But the funny thing is, so, uh, you know, she drank some and she gave it to me and she said, here, you drink some. And I took a sip and it was like, this tastes like nail polish. This tastes like nail polish. I am not kidding. It smells like nail polish and it tastes like nail polish. It's really weird. So that's why I brought that just to show Grant. So my bag is now empty, but I did want to show you something that we bought at one of the little um, cutesy um, little touristy stores there in Japantown. It's called Myrmacorn. It's a Myrmacorn. A mermaid unicorn. Oh, yes. These were blind boxes, so we didn't know which one we were going to get. As it turned out, Leanna and I both got the same one, but you guys have to see this thing. I mean, look at this. Is that freaking cute or what? It's a mermacorn. I love it. It's got a little, she's got a little dolphin tattoo and a yellow tail and kind of pet well sort of pastel ice cream colored hair whoa and she's got a a little blue unicorn thing plus she's got wings so she's got kind of the pegasus fairy thing going on she is a real mashup of fairy tale animals and i just adore her so had to get that and i was also thinking when i took a look at the box the box has all this cool graphics on it um, all these little, you know, drawing, not, not drawings, that, well, they're drawings, but they're printed on the box, the clear plastic. I was thinking I could take my craft punch, the one that's a, it's a, a one inch circle, and I could punch out these little guys on this box and I could make some charms out of that. I thought that would be really neat. So, that is that. Um, do I have anything else to show you? No, I believe that's it. So, um, uh, join me uh, at the on my next uh, video. I think it's going to be a bath time confessional. I'm not sure which cho uh, topic I'm going to do first. And I hope everybody's having a really great week and a wonderful weekend. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.